Hi, my name is Mark, and I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the ion selective electrode. So this is the unit right here. It's really broken up into two pieces. You got the display unit. It's got all the controls, uh, the screen where you can record your potential. And you also have your two electrodes. One is your reference electrode, and the other is the analyte-specific electrode. For this case, it's fluoride. Uh, to prepare to do a measurement, you would just simply take a beaker. Best to use a 250 mil beaker. You're going to place in that beaker your uh, magnetic stir to allow mixing to occur during the potential measurement. And then you can add your sample, your standard, whatever you're going to be measuring. Now we have the electrodes uh, immersed in water as we don't want to leave them uh, exposed to the air for a prolonged period of time as that could damage the membrane. So it's best to keep them in water whenever not in use uh, to easily uh, transfer samples to the electrodes. You can raise and lower the platform containing the electrodes just by pushing on this lever underneath the platform. So just raise it just like this. You can remove the beaker, place a small waste beaker to rinse the electrodes. Just like this. You can then place in your sample and you can lower the electrodes, not too far that you hit the magnetic stir. You can turn on the magnetic stir to allow mixing to occur. And when you're ready to take a measurement, you can just turn this switch that is uh, right now it's on reference or standby, just flip it to use. And then you can see on the display screen it's now measuring a potential. Just make sure that uh, the dial is set to read potential in millivolts. Uh, typically the, the, the potential will give you a stable reading fairly quickly. You may have to wait a few seconds. When it, wait, uh, when it stabilizes, just record the, the reading and uh, you can then move on to the next, uh, to the next measurement. Uh, you just basically repeat this step for as many standards, uh, sample solutions that you have available. And um, that's it for how to use the ion selective electrode.